All right guys, so I just got into the park and I was driving along and I saw a sign for Dog Canyon Trail. And I thought, you know what, that sounds cool. It's four miles round trip, so I thought I'd just check it out really quick and uh, see what it's all about. If you guys get lost out here, just look for a little pile of rocks and head to it. And then look for the next little pile of rocks. And then hope that you're going in the direction of your car. The trail follows dry wash from this point to Dog Canyon. All right. Tonight I have Roy's Peak Vista reserved. To get there you have to drive quite a ways off-road. Um, I'm super stoked to go off-roading a little bit, but at the same time I haven't really had Bruce, um, I haven't had Bruce off the beaten path a whole lot. Although I am confident he can handle it, um, it's certainly going to be interesting. And um, yeah, super stoked. So sitting here at the visiting center right before I'm about to take off and I'm trying to get everything situated and getting my little camera out and things like that so I can get all the footage I need to. And I just keep seeing these like clapped out Jeeps rolling past and uh, it's making me a little nervous. So um, today Bruce is going to prove himself. Well, I'm not sure what it was, but I thought a Mountain Dew would hit the spot. So I stopped by the village store and I got myself a Mountain Dew. Wow quite possibly the best Mountain Dew I've ever had in my life. <laughs> the power is actually off in the village store, so um, there was no ice cream sale. They had to keep the cooler shut, and it was kind of creepy inside. But uh, we're out now. I got a Mountain Dew, I got a Gatorade, and a chocolate bar. I want to enjoy myself while I'm out there, so I thought I'd get some sweets. I am going to stop along the way at some lookouts and things like that, and then I'm going to hit the trail. and see what this off-roading's about. All right, so I am in a spot called Bokias Canyon. I believe that's how you, how you pronounce it, Bokias. Um, it's hard to see, it's kind of hard to see the depth, um, but the canyon actually cuts through right in there. Um, but uh, the gnats here are pretty remarkable. Beautiful overlook here. Totally recommend. It's about four miles away from Rio Grande Village. Also, do you guys say Rio Grande or Rio Grande? I've heard it said a lot of ways. All right, I gotta get out of here. A gnat just went my nose. The gnats have all left. I had a couple in the cab with me. There actually still is a couple. Um, but without the gnats here, I feel like I can really do anything I want. So I am gonna go ahead on into the trail and see what this is all about so here we go and uh wish me luck guys oh wow yep yeah. okay It's a lot steeper than I thought it was. Well, I, uh, 
Really wish I would have filmed this one. Alright, so I've been off the beaten path for about three hours now. I've had like four heart attacks since I started, so. Well, we are out here roughing it, that's for darn sure. Something, something stinks. I don't know if it's my clutch or my armpits. So just to give you guys a little idea of what's going on, I started the trail right here. It's this dotted line. My campsite is right here at Roy's Peak and I am about somewhere in here so I'm probably two-thirds of the way there so maybe another hour and a half or two and I'll be there I stepped away from the truck for a second to get a picture and to let the truck have a little break and now I can't find the truck. I've looked like everywhere. Oh, it's right there. Oh man. By the way guys, if you're gonna rock sandals out here, don't kick one of those. Spiky little booger. Oh man. All right guys, sitting here on the trail, um, I'm kind of speechless to be honest. Basically, I switched dates on my camping spots. The camping spot I had reserved tonight is about two and a half hours back. <sighs> I don't know. I think I just got excited to go and assumed, oh yeah, it's this one tonight because I have two reserved and of course, I picked the one that was twice the distance away and set my heart on it to get here and see that a couple had already set up camp. I think the plan is now to just go ahead back to the main road because I'm kind of close to the opposite trailhead that I started from. And then if I'm feeling up for it, cruise around, get back on the trail where I started and it's only probably 30 minutes to an hour to get to my camp spot. So, all right. So, like I said before, um, quite possibly the biggest goof of the trip, to be honest. And uh, I'm not even mad because I just found a spot. To show you guys. So this is out the back of the truck. I am on a bit of a mountain right now. This is actually the edge of a cliff, and uh, I'm actually just going to spend the night up here. So I'm packing up to get back on the trail and head back into Big Bend, into the civilized part of Big Bend. And uh, I pulled open my med kit. I'm going to tape up some toes. Turns out if you uh, don't wear sandals for three or four months and then wear them nonstop for 48 hours, kind of wrecks your feet a little bit.
All right, walking down the last, oh, maybe one and a half, two miles of trail. Going down is certainly a lot easier than going up, but it kind of poses its own set of challenges because I'm on the brakes constantly. And that wears you out too. So I just made it to Santa Elena Canyon. Uh, it's super gorgeous and uh, I'll get some good footage of it in a second. But before I do that, I am going to make myself a sandwich and have a little chocolate. I skipped breakfast this morning and didn't take any snacks on the hike. So I haven't eaten all day and I'm starving. Also, oh, I picked up some aloe vera at the camp store, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Alright guys, well I thought since I had the view, I might as well go ahead and record an outro for this series of videos. So I've spent the last two days at Big Bend National Park. Unfortunately, I don't have a reservation at a site tonight. Because the way I travel is so sporadic, it makes it really hard for me to reserve spots. So I'm actually going to leave the park and find a close town and shack up for the night. And if I'm feeling down for it tomorrow, I might come back into the park and do a couple more hikes. But we'll see how that goes. Definitely not before I have my coffee. But uh, yeah, it's been a blast here at Big Bend. I recommend it. Obviously, uh, I'm not the only one to recommend it, so you should check it out for sure. Thanks, guys.